Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have an interesting video here. I just want to show you uh, a test that I'm doing on this uh, BMW. This is a 2009 10 535 with an N54 engine. A uh, customer concern is actually has major oil leaks. I'm doing actually the crankcase test on the valve cover. Just to see the pressure, the valve cover is actually new. To see the pressures on the engine, there's multiple faults that I'm going to show you in a second, but this is a very good tool. I got this actually from Amazon. Very good, very good tool. And then the adapter from AGA for those that wants to know that's the part number and it works really good. But so the reason of the video, I was uh, this last week in a STX work back to, uh, training. One of the instructors in there is, uh, from ATG, uh, Chris, was saying that you know the way to test a GDI engine uh, high pressure system from the vehicle uh, seat as with a scanner, and then you just need to start a car. If you want to see pressures building up, just you know let it warm up a little bit, then turn it off, leave the ignition, you know, turn it off and turn the ignition back on, and you will see your pressures building up. Well, that actually is not a hundred percent correct because there is some uh, BMWs, especially like this one, and since that's why I'm recording this video, that has a rotary uh, pump. It's, this is a GDI um, engine. It has a high pressure pump. The pump is under the intake. These type of uh, pumps will bleed out the pressure and will stay in low side pressure pressures. That's what I want to show you. All right, so let me just disregard this. So right now we're reading 47 hectopascal. This is around 72 PSI. I'm going to show you in a second how much this converter is. But let me start the car so we can all see that pressure raise. One second. All right, now, as you can see, we have 178, 170,000. We can just plus or minus 170,000 HPA. So I'm going to turn the car off. It's now warm, but um, let me turn the car off. I'm going to bring actually the screen this way so you guys can see that as soon as I turn that off, that pressure is going to drop because this microphone takes, takes the noise out. So you guys can see that now it's RPM in there and we got 170,000. I'm going to turn it off so you guys can see. I'm about to do it, not yet. I'm reaching the key. Okay, and turn the ignition back on. Just to make sure it is. One second. Now it is. But yeah, look at the pressures now. 53, 50, 49, 98. That's where it's going to stay. That's the low side pressure. All right, so let me take you over to the computer and explain you what the differences are on uh, the two designs that you will find pretty much in every single car. And especially in BMW, you got the rotary type pump and the Bosch type pump. Uh, so let me take you there. All right, quickly, I just uh, went over in Google and looked for a converter uh, calculator. And as you can see, 4998 hectopascals, that's what HPA means, is 72 PSI. If I put now 170,000, that is 2,465 PSI. That's a high pressure. And that's not just an idle. Obviously, it probably didn't stabilize 100% because that's a little too high. Usually, this car runs around 700, 800 PSI. Actually, that's not correct. I think it's 1,300 PSI in idle for this specific system. Uh, the pressure pump that I was referring to is this one. This is what BMW was using on the old versions N54, and it's called a rotary pump. I can give you a whole class on this, and uh, it's not really that necessary. It fails the same. This uses a fluid inside here, and that uh, uh, rubber, let's say, seal in here gets damaged, and then it mixes the fluid, and then the pump is garbage. Test is almost the same. You can see the high pressures. Um, that test that he was giving us is no good on this one because you will get burned thinking that you have a bad high pressure pump if he's waiting for that pressure to hold. The other uh, pump the, is um, the rest of the cars, pretty much even American cars, they use this type. This is the Bosch style, they is sitting on top of the uh, cam, and the cam is the one that's pushing this up and down and builds the pressure, right? 
Yes, this one, when you turn the ignition off, I mean the car off, and you turn the ignition back off, right, like quickly, right, this will hold the pressure. And that will, you know, it's, this is the easiest system to find if you have a leak injector because, you know, you can uh, use that same time and uh, just wait for the pressure to start building up in a hot engine, right? Uh, same thing as if you're in diesel and uh, you're running a car and you are diesel, the pump will be shutting down and the pressure will rise momentarily and then drop, right? That's the way um, that is easy to test injectors on this system because then you, if you do a D-cell and you see uh, an immediately, immediately drop in pressure, uh, then you know that you got leak injector. So it's an easy way to catch it because, you know, the injectors are shut down, the pressure is closed because, I mean, the pump, the, the fuel has no other way to go. So the way they do the D-cells by shutting down the injectors, the pump is no longer producing pressure. So the injectors are, um, close so the pressure will will rise if you have a leaking injector then you can see that and those are tips that he was giving us and those are great tips you can also check you know these uh, uh high fuel uh, prone pressures if you you know set up again warm engine and you're uh turn the ignition off and, and then back on and then the pressure's bleeding then you most likely have a problem with it with a high pressure high pressure pump but you cannot do this test on this one because as you saw in the video, that pressure will immediately drop down and it will not be, uh, you know, it's just the normal, normal situation. I just wanna give you this uh, hint, this step. I think that's uh, good to share with all of you so you guys can uh, use for your testing because it's very important to know exactly what you're working on and make sure that you're not following somebody's recommendation that will burn you and you know make you replace something that is actually not bad i just want to put this out there uh, again uh, don't forget to subscribe see you next time this is a short video bye bye